our lateral knee, we'll start with our lateral collateral ligament. A lateral collateral ligament isn't a true coronal. We, we just need to drop that distal edge of the probe posterior a little to appreciate it. And we can see here running from our lateral femoral condyle, continuing down to our fibular head is our lateral collateral ligament. So we come up the top here, just sitting deep to our lateral collateral ligament here is our popliteus tendon. We can see that running deep and around towards the back of the joint. And our lateral collateral ligament insertion, we can follow that right across. As we come down to its insertion, we see our biceps femoris tendon wrapping either side. So it, it hugs around and has insertion onto our fibula uh, and a little bit coming down onto our tibia, just coming across there. So that biceps femoris insertion tends to be majority of fibula head, but also a few fibres coming across onto our tibia, wrapping around. So that's the view there. If I pick up our short head of biceps femoris here and our musculotendinous junction and follow that down, we can follow our biceps femoris tendon down. We're just moving out of the muscle there and into our tendon. As we follow that down, we can again see that lateral collateral ligament coming up and through to split that tendon. So we can follow that and just open that lateral collateral ligament again. You can appreciate those three distinct structures with the biceps femoris either side of our ligament. Just deep here is our uh, proximal tib-fib joint. You can just see that sitting deep there as we follow up. So another thing we want to assess on our lateral knee is our iliotibial band compression syndrome. And this occurs up just above our uh, lateral femoral condyle. So our ITB will run down the lateral thigh, continue over our medial femoral condyle and down onto our Gerdes tubercle. Just down here on our tibia, we can open that up. We can see that really nicely. That's our iliotibial band insertion onto Gerdes. As we follow it up over our lateral femoral condyle, we come up and we have this little triangle of fat just here. And this is where we can commonly see our iliotibial band compression syndrome, this um, swelling and edema in the fat there. And this is an excellent IMR, but ultrasound's equally as good at showing this. And you know, this is our typical runner's issue. So a runner with a little bit of pain just above the lateral femoral condyle is a bit of a giveaway. For injecting these, I like to just again go in our transverse plane. We've got our ITB there. You can see it just sitting up over the bone. As we just come, just proximal, this is our little fat pad. Again, we want to just start our approach from just a centimetre off, guiding in and under that iliotibial band and injecting through that fat plane. So that's our lateral knee.